under the weather. People often say that they're feeling or are under the weather when they don't feel so good or are starting to get sick. Perhaps you were supposed to go out with your friend, but she tells you, Sorry, we're going to have to cancel. I'm feeling under the weather. Or maybe your coworker doesn't show up for work, and your manager tells you, You'll be working alone today. Naomi is a bit under the weather. What a strange way to say that you are sick or are not feeling well. Some online sources say that the idiom under the weather comes from the fact that people used to think the weather influenced health. However, a more accurate and plausible explanation comes from the days when ships were powered by sail. Captains of sailboats keep logs, and in these logs would record things, such as which sailors and or passengers were sick, and weather conditions. What would often happen, as is common in the closed quarters of ships, is that a large number of people would get sick. When this happened, there wouldn't be enough space in this specific column to write all their names. So, the captain would have to write the names in the next column, which was usually reserved for weather conditions. Thus, the names of the sick would often be recorded under the weather. Another plausible explanation related to sailing is that when the weather was bad, it would cause a lot of seasickness amongst sailors and passengers. Those getting seasick would be sent to stay near the bottom of the ship where the movement would be less noticeable. Suppose you wake up with a headache and sore throat on a work day. You might call your supervisor and tell her, I can't make it to the office today. I'm feeling under the weather. Or maybe you're already at work and your coworker notices that you don't look so great. You look to be under the weather. You should go home. The next time you or someone else is sick and not feeling so great, you can use the idiom under the weather.